so the publishing side, it's contracted in the last few years, right? It's smaller, yes. harder to get books published. Yes. Even getting an agent is, is a lot harder. I mean, a lot harder than when I started. An exciting thing is that self-publishing exists and there are a lot of small presses that are important and hopefully we can support, especially right now. But I think the most important thing is to not think about it too much when you are writing because that can be very inhibiting if you can just write as if it's not an issue and then you find the people that you trust who can help you look for different paths and alternative paths and i think that there will be more and more alternative paths and people need stories you know we can't live without stories so there will still be stories there will still be ways to get those stories into other people's hands now, I am much more of a tourist into the world of books, but I've noticed many legitimate success stories of people who weren't able to be published in the conventional way, self-published, and then their books were picked up later because they did a lot of other hustling. You do have to do a lot of hustling, as you say, a lot of work, but you have to do that in traditional publishing too. It's almost a full-time job, even if you have a big publisher who gives you a lot of money up front. You got to be out there promoting your book, talking about your book, connecting to people, expect a lot of work, but expect a lot of work really with anything with writing. I want to see what happens after this. Cause as I say, we need stories so much. We need different stories. It's a way of taking power back when someone says no to you saying, well, then I'll just put it out there and I will put myself out there. I talked to a big publicity guru once and um, asked her sort of her secret, you know, and she said, connecting to one person at a time in a real genuine organic way. It's not like trying to get this big message out to all these people. It's personally finding a connection between you and somebody else and listening. So I think that mm -hmm. is a big part of that self-promotion that you have to do, whether you're working with a traditional publisher or doing it on your own. Mm. It's a genuine connection rather than a forced sales tactic. You know, it, as somebody who was sort of young and trying to break into Hollywood, I experienced this so much where people would give me a, lots of advice. And frequently it was about networking. Yeah. You know, they would say, you're talented, but you need to network. And I'm like, what does that look like? Like go to parties? I'm not really a go to parties girl. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I don't know. I'm, when I'm there, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to deliver what people expect in a conversation I'm, to sell myself that way. For me, I was like, I'll just go on reality TV and said, that'll be easier. But um, <laughs> what you're describing is, you know, seeking to have conversation with people who really are like-minded and interested in what you have to say and burning to explore similar things. And if yeah. your audience grows, that's great because it's more people who want to talk about the same shit you want to talk about. Exactly. And I think we're similar in that we both love to work. I would rather be working than schmoozing because I don't know how to schmooze either. But, <laughs> you know, but if you are connecting to people on that level of work, and I don't mean work in, in a sense of anything negative at all. I mean, just mm -hmm. like telling the truth and, and doing the next step. And if you're connecting to people on that level, then it feels much more authentic too. 